With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Japanese. This video is a small portion of our can-do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Minasan konnichiwa, Kano Kana desu. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to introduce yourself in Japanese. This is Mark Lee, and he's on a plane to Japan. Ken Kobayashi, a passenger sitting next to him, introduces himself by saying, Nice to meet you. I'm Kobayashi. Pleased to meet you. Hajime maste. Watashiwa Kobayashi desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Listen to the conversation and focus on Mark's response. Ready? Hajime maste. Watashiwa Kobayashi desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hajime maste. Watashiwa Lee Mark desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Once more with the English translation. Hajime maste. Watashiwa Kobayashi desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Nice to meet you. I'm Kobayashi. Pleased to meet you. Hajime maste. Watashiwa Lee Mark desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Nice to meet you. I'm Mark Lee. Pleased to meet you. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at Mark's response. Do you remember how Mark Lee introduces himself? Nice to meet you. I'm Mark Lee. Pleased to meet you. はじめまして。私はリーマークです。よろしくお願いします。First is the phrase はじめまして meaning nice to meet you. はじめまして。はじめまして。this phrase is usually the first thing someone says when making a self-introduction in Japanese. はじめまして。now let's look at the last part of Mark's response. よろしくお願いします. This literally means, be good to me, please. There is no equivalent in English since the meaning is understood from the context of the situation. In the context of meeting someone for the first time, it translates as, pleased to meet you. よろしくお願いします. Do you remember how Mark says, I'm Mark Lee? First is, meaning I. Next is the particle, wa, the topic marking particle, wa. It marks, watashi, I as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like, as for, in the expression, as for me. Together, it's, watashi wa, as for me, watashi wa. Next is Mark Lee's name. 
Note the name order. First is Mark's family name. D. Lee. D. D. Followed by his given name. Mark. 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 Together, it's D Mark. Lee Mark. D Mark. In Japanese, the order is family name first, followed by given names. Last is this. In this case, it's like the am in I am. It's a linking verb. De su. Des. Altogether, it's Watashi wa D Mark des. This literally means, as for me, Lee Mark am, but it translates as I'm Mark Lee. Watashi wa Lee Mark des. The pattern is Watashi wa name des. I'm name. Watashi wa name des. To use this pattern, simply replace the name placeholder with your name. Imagine you're Karen Lee. In Japanese, ka de n di Karen di. Say, I'm Karen Lee. Remember Japanese name order, family name first, followed by given name. Ready? Watashi wa D. Karen des. I'm Karen Lee. Watashi wa D. Karen des. Now, do you remember how Ken Kobayashi says, I'm Kobayashi? Watashi wa Kobayashi des. I'm Kobayashi. Watashi wa Kobayashi des. The pattern is the same, but Ken Kobayashi uses only his family name. He omits his given name. The pattern is Watashi wa family name des. I'm family name. Watashi wa family name des. In Japan, it's common to give only one's family name in a self introduction. Let's practice this pattern with Karen Lee. Drop Karen Lee's first name and say, I'm Lee. Ready? Watashi wa D. Des. I'm Lee. Watashi wa D. Des. Let's look at some examples of people introducing themselves. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. はじめまして。私は小林です。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は小林です。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私はリーマークです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私はリーマークです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は D. カレンです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は D. カレンです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は加納かなです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は加納かなです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして、田中です。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして、田中です。よろしくお願いします。Did you notice the last speaker omits? 私は Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it. And understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. 
By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. She says, Hajimemashite, Tanaka desu. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Nice to meet you. I'm Tanaka. Pleased to meet you. Hajimemashite, Tanaka desu. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Tomoko Tanaka omits, Watashi wa, and says only her family name, Tanaka, followed by, this. When it's clear from context, the speaker often omits the topic in Japanese. In this case, it's clear the speaker is talking about herself. The pattern is Name this. I'm name. Name this. Do you remember my introduction at the start of the lesson? Kano Kana desu. I'm Kana Kano. Kano Kana desu. This is shortened in the same way by omitting. You should be aware of this shortcut, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern. Name I'm name. name Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say, nice to meet you? Hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. And do you remember how to say, pleased to meet you? Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Do you remember the word for I? Watashi. Watashi. And the topic marking particle? Wa. Wa. Do you remember how Mark Lee says his name? Lee Mark. Lee Mark. Do you remember how Mark Lee says, I'm Mark Lee? Watashi wa Lee Mark desu. Watashi wa Lee Mark desu. All together, do you remember how Mark introduces himself? はじめまして。私はリーマークです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私はリーマークです。よろしくお願いします。Finally, do you remember how Ken Kobayashi introduces himself? はじめまして。私は小林です。よろしくお願いします。初めまして。私は小林です。よろしくお願いします。Let's practice. Imagine your Lee Karen. Respond to Ken Kobayashi's self-introduction. Ready? はじめまして。私は小林です。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私はリーカレンです。よろしくお願いします。Listen again and repeat. はじめまして。私はリーカレンです。
よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私はリー・カレンです。よろしくお願いします。Let's try another. Imagine your 田中智子 Use your family name only in your self-introduction. Ready? はじめまして。私は小林です。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は田中です。よろしくお願いします。Listen again and repeat. はじめまして。私は田中です。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は田中です。よろしくお願いします。Let's try one more. Imagine your Kano Kana. Use Japanese name order in your self introduction. Ready? Hajime Mashte. Watashiwa Kobayashi des. Yoroshiku Onegai Shimas. Hajime Mashte. Watashiwa Kano Kana des. よろしくお願いします。Listen again and repeat. はじめまして。私は加納かなです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私は加納かなです。よろしくお願いします。When introducing yourself as a Japanese learner, use the name or name order with which you'd like to be addressed. For example, you might want to use just your given name. Watashi wa Karen desu. I'm Karen. Or given name followed by family name. Watashi wa Karen Lee desu. I'm Karen Lee. This is perfectly all right. You can feel free to use the name you'd like to be called. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So, click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our Can Do course. Well done! Now you know how to introduce yourself in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Mina san, konnichiwa. Kano Kana desu. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to tell someone where you're from in Japanese. This is Mark Lee, and he's on a plane to Japan. Ken Kobayashi, a passenger sitting next to him, asks him, Mr. Lee, where are you from? リーさん、出身はどこですか Listen to the conversation and focus on Mark's response. Note, the speakers in this conversation use polite Japanese. Ready? リーさん、出身はどこですか出身はニューヨークです。Once more, with the English translation. リーさん、出身はどこですか Mr. Lee, where are you from? 出身はニューヨークです。I'm from New York.
Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Ken Kobayashi asks? Mr. Lee, where are you from? Lee san, shushin wa doko desu ka? First is Lee san, Mr. Lee. Lee san. This starts with Mark Lee's family name. Lee. 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 After this is san. A polite suffix attached to a person's name that translates as Mr. in Mark's case. Sa. N. San. Note. This suffix can be used with any gender. Together, Li san. Mr. Li. Li san. Next is the word, Shushin. Hometown. Shushin. Shushin. Remember this word because you'll see it again in Mark's response. After this is the particle, Wa. The topic marking particle. Wa. It marks hometown as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like as for in the expression as for your hometown. Together, it's shushin wa. As for your hometown. Shushin wa. Note the your is understood through context as the speaker is asking a question. Shushin wa. Next is the word, doko. Where? Doko. Doko. After this is, des. Here, it's like the is in where is. De. Su. Des. Last is the particle, ka. The question marking particle, ka. This particle turns the sentence into a question. Altogether, it's. Lee san, shushin wa doko desu ka? This literally means, Mr. Lee, as for your hometown, where is? But it translates as, Mr. Lee, where are you from? Lee san, shushin wa doko desu ka? Remember this question. You'll hear it again later in this lesson. Now, Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Mark Lee says, I'm from New York? New York First is, Shushin. Hometown. Shushin. Next is the particle, Wa. The topic marking particle. Wa. It marks hometown as the topic of the sentence. Together, it's. Shushin wa. As for my hometown. Shushin wa. Note, the my is understood through context as the speaker is responding to a question about his hometown. Next is. New York. New York. New York. New York. Last is. This. In this case, it's like the is in it is. This. Altogether. Shushin wa New York desu. This literally means, as for my hometown, New York is. But it translates as, I'm from New York. Shushin wa New York desu. The pattern is Shushin wa hometown des. I'm from hometown. Shushin wa hometown des. To use this pattern, simply replace the hometown placeholder with the name of your hometown. Imagine you're from Sydney. In Japanese, Shidoni. 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 
say, I'm from Sydney. Ready? I'm from Sydney. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. Shushinwa Did you notice the last speaker says a country name in place of a city name? She says, I'm from Australia. The word actually has a broader meaning than just one's hometown. You can also use it to talk about your country. This pattern is home country. I'm from home country. Home country, this. You should be aware of this pattern, but for this lesson, we'll use city names. Let's review the key vocabulary. Sapporo. 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 Seattle. 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 London. 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 Nagasaki. 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 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say hometown? Shushin. Shushin. And the topic marking particle? Wa. Wa. Do you remember how to say New York? New York. New York. And do you remember how Mark says, I'm from New York? Do you remember how to say where? Doko. Doko. And the question marking particle? Do you remember how Ken Kobayashi asks, 
Where are you from? Do you remember how to say London? London. London. And how to say Seattle? Seattle. Seattle. Do you remember how to say Nagasaki? Nagasaki. Nagasaki. Let's practice. Imagine you're Jack Jones from London. Respond to Ken Kobayashi's question. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. Now imagine you're Emma Egawa from Seattle. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Kana Kano from Nagasaki. Ready? Listen again and repeat. This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try anytime you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Well done. Now you know how to tell where you are from in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Well done! Now you know how to tell where you are from in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to talk about your occupation in Japanese. This is Mark Lee, and he's on a plane to Japan. 
He asks the passenger sitting next to him, Ken Kobayashi, Mr. Kobayashi, are you a student? Kobayashi san wa gakusei desu ka? Listen to the conversation and focus on Ken's response. Ready? Kobayashi san wa gakusei desu ka? Iie, gakusei dewa arimasen. Toshi ka desu. Once more with the English translation. Kobayashi san wa gakusei desu ka? Mr. Kobayashi, are you a student? Iie, gakusei dewa arimasen. Toshi ka desu. No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Mark asks, Mr. Kobayashi, are you a student? Kobayashi san wa gakusei desu ka? First is, Kobayashi san. Mr. Kobayashi. Kobayashi san. This starts with Ken's family name. Kobayashi. 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 After this is san. A polite suffix attached to a person's name. It translates as Mr. in Ken's case. Sa -n. san. Note this suffix can be used with any gender. Together. Kobayashi san. Mr. Kobayashi. Kobayashi san. After this is the particle wa. The topic marking particle wa. Wa. It marks Mr. Kobayashi as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like as for in the expression as for Mr. Kobayashi. Together it's Kobayashi san wa. As for Mr. Kobayashi. Kobayashi san wa. In Japanese, it's more common and polite to address a person by his or her name and polite suffix rather than directly with you. After this is Gakusei Student Gakusei Gakusei Next is Des Here, it's like the R in Are You Desu Des Last is the particle ka, the question marking particle ka, ka. This particle turns the sentence into a question. Altogether, it's Kobayashi san wa gakusei desu ka? This literally means, as for Mr. Kobayashi, student, you are? But it translates as, Mr. Kobayashi, are you a student? Kobayashi san wa gakusei desu ka? Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Ken Kobayashi says, No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. First is, Meaning, no. Ie. It answers Mark's yes or no question. Are you a student? Gakusei desu ka? Next, Ken says, Gakusei dewa arimasen. I'm not a student. Gakusei dewa arimasen. First is, Gakusei. Student. Gakusei. After this is, Dewa arimasen. Here, it's like the am not in I am not. It's a polite negative form of the linking verb. De wa arimasen. De wa arimasen. Note. De wa arimasen. Comes from the linking verb. Da. To be. Da. Altogether, it's. Gakusei de wa arimasen. This literally means student, I am not, but it translates as I'm not a student. 
学生ではありません。Note, the I is understood through context as Ken is responding to the question. Finally, Ken says, 投資家です。I'm an investor. 投資家です。First is, 投資家。Investor. 投資家。投資家。After this is, です。Here, it's like the am in I am. です。Altogether, it's 投資家です。This literally means investor I am, but it translates as I'm an investor. 投資家です。Note, the I is understood through context. Altogether, いいえ、学生ではありません。投資家です。No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. いいえ、学生ではありません。投資家です。The pattern is いいえ、occupation ではありません。Actual occupation です。No, I'm not occupation. I'm actual occupation. いいえ、occupation ではありません。Actual occupation です。Imagine you're Emma Egawa, a student. Ken asks you if you're an investor. Say, No, I'm not an investor. I'm a student. Ready? いいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。No, I'm not an investor. I'm a student. いいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。Let's look at some examples.Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. いいえ、学生ではありません。投資家です。いいえ、学生ではありません。投資家です。いいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。いいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。いいえ、医者ではありません。エンジニアです。いいえ、医者ではありません。エンジニアです。いいえ。看護師ではありません。医者です。いいえ、看護師ではありません。医者です。いいえ、学生ではありません。教師です。いいえ、学生ではありません。教師です。いいえ、バリスタです。いいえ、バリスタです。Did you notice how the last speaker omits part of the response? She says, いいえ、バリスタです。No, I'm a barista. いいえ、バリスタです。When directly responding to someone's question, it's often possible to omit part of the response. Here, by simply answering, いいえ、No, there's no need to say, 学生ではありません。I'm not a student. The pattern is, いいえ、actual occupation です。No, I'm actual occupation. いいえ、actual occupation です。You should be aware of this pattern, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern, いいえ、occupation ではありません。Actual occupation です。No, I'm not occupation. I'm actual occupation. いいえ、occupation ではありません。Actual occupation です
Let's review the key vocabulary. 教師 Teacher. When a teacher is talking about his or her own occupation. 教師教師 Note. 先生 Is also commonly used to mean teacher, but when you talk about your own occupation, 教師 is commonly used. Engineer. 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 Kangoshi. Nurse. Kangoshi. Kangoshi. Isha. Doctor. Isha. Isha. Barista. 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 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say investor? Toshka. Toshka. And how Ken says, I'm an investor. Toshka des. Toshka des. Do you remember how to say student? Gakusei. Gakusei. And how Ken says, I'm not a student. Gakusei dewa arimasen. Gakusei dewa arimasen. Do you remember how to say no? Ie. Ie. Do you remember how Ken says, No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. いいえ、学生ではありません。投資家です。いいえ、学生ではありません。投資家です。Do you remember how Mark addresses Mr. 小林いい小林さん。小林さん。Do you remember how to say the question marking particle? Ka? Ka? And how Mark asks, Mr. Kobayashi, are you a student? Kobayashi さんは学生ですか小林さんは学生ですか Do you remember how to say engineer? エンジニアエンジニア And how to say doctor? 医者医者 Do you remember the word commonly used for teacher when talking about one's own occupation? Kyoshi. Kyoshi. Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark Lee and you're an engineer. Respond to Ken's question. Ready? リーさんは医者ですかリ
いいえ医者ではありませんエンジニアです Listen again and repeat. いいえ医者ではありませんエンジニアです。いいえ、医者ではありません。エンジニアです。Let's try another. Imagine you're Kana Kano and you're a teacher. Ready? Kano さんは学生ですか Listen again and repeat. いいえ、学生ではありません。教師です。いいえ、学生ではありません。教師です。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Emma Egawa and you're a student. Ready? エガワさんは投資家ですかいいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。Listen again and repeat. いいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。いいえ、投資家ではありません。学生です。This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try anytime you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Well done! Now you know how to talk about your occupation in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our Can Do course. Well done! Now you know how to talk about your occupation in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to give your phone number. This is Mark Lee, and he's at City Hall, registering his address. A civil servant who is helping him says, Mr. Lee, your phone number, please. Lee さん、電話番号をお願いします。Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Lee さん、電話番号をお願いします。私の電話番号はゼロ九ゼロのゼロ一二三の四五六七です。Once more with the English translation。リーさん、電話番号をお願いします。Mr. Lee, your phone number, please。私の電話番号はゼロ九ゼロの。My phone number is 
0123-4567. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how the civil servant says, Mr. Lee, your phone number, please. B さん、電話番号をお願いします。First is the name. B さん、Mr. Lee. B さん、This starts with Mark's family name. B、Lee。B、B。After this is san, a polite suffix attached to a person's name. Sa, n, san. This suffix can be used with any gender and translates as Mr. in Mark's case. Together it's Li san, Mr. Li. Li san. Next is Dema bango, phone number. Dema bango. This starts with Denwa Phone De N Wa Denwa Next is Bango Number Ba N Go U Bango Together it's Denwa Bango Phone Number Denwa Bango Remember this because you'll see it again in Mark's response. Next is o. the object marking particle. O. O. Think of o. as a marker for the word or phrase receiving the action of the sentence. In this sentence, it marks phone number as the object of the request. Last is please. All together, it's B さん、電話番号をお願いします。This literally means Mr. Lee, phone number, please. But it translates as Mr. Lee, your phone number, please. B さん、電話番号をお願いします。Note the your in your phone number is understood from context as it's a two person conversation. In Japanese, It's common to omit such understood information. Remember this request. You'll hear it again later in this lesson. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Mark says, My phone number is 私の電話番号は090の0123の4567です。First is 私の My 私の This starts with the word 私 I わたし私 After this is の The possessive marking particle. No. Think of no as a way to indicate possession. The word it follows possesses the thing that comes after it. In this sentence, it marks Watashi. I as the possessor. Together, Watashi no my. Watashi no. Next, do you remember how to say phone number? Phone number. Together, it's My phone number. After this is The topic marking particle. It marks My phone number as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like as for in the expression as for my phone number. Next is Mark's phone number. 090-0123-4567.
ゼロ九ゼロのゼロ一二三の四五六七。Notice how Mark says his phone number. First, he says each number independently instead of in groups of two or more digits. Second, in Japanese, hyphens are read as no zero two zero no. Last is this. In this case, it's like the is in my phone number is. It's a linking verb. This. Altogether, it's. 私の電話番号は zero two zero の zero one two three four の四五六七です。This literally means, as for my phone number, 090-0123-4567 is, but it translates as, my phone number is 090-0123-4567. The pattern is, 私の電話番号は phone number です。My phone number is Phone number. Watashi no denwa bango wa phone number des. To use this pattern, simply replace the phone number placeholder with your phone number. Imagine your phone number is 03-1212-3434. 03-1212-3434. No 03-1212-3434Say, my phone number is 03-1212-3434. Ready? わたしの電話番号は03Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Watashi no denwa bango wa 090 no 0123 no 4567 des. Watashi no denwa bango wa 03 no 1212 no 3434 des. 私の電話番号は090の0003の9004です。私の電話番号は03の1234の5678です。電話番号は03の2255の6677です。Did you notice I omitted Watashi no? Dewa bango wa 03 no 2255 no 6677 des. The phone number is 03-2255-6677. When directly responding to a request, it's often possible to omit part of the response. Here, by simply giving your phone number, there is no need to include my. The pattern is 
電話番号はフォンナンバーです。The phone number is phone number. 電話番号はフォンナンバーです。This can be shortened even further. 03の2255の6677です。When responding to a question or request about your phone number, you can omit the whole phrase. As for my phone number, because it's clear from context you're giving your phone number. Phone number. This. It's phone number. Phone number. This. You should be aware of these shortcuts, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern. 私の電話番号はフォンナンバーです。My phone number is phone number. 私の電話番号はフォンナンバーです。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say phone number? Denwa bango. Denwa bango. And how to say my phone number? Watashi no denwa bango. Watashi no denwa bango. Do you remember the topic marking particle? わわ Do you remember how Mark says, My phone number is 090-01234567? 私の電話番号は 090-0123 の4567です。私の電話番号は090の0123の4567です。Do you remember how to say please? お願いします。お願いします。And the object marking particle? Do you remember how the civil servant addresses Mr. Lee? Lee san. Lee san. And do you remember the civil servant's request? Mr. Lee, your phone number, please. B さん、電話番号をお願いします。B さん、電話番号をお願いします。Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee, and your phone number is 090の0877の6644 Respond to the civil servant's request. Ready? D さん、電話番号をお願いします。私の電話番号は090の0877の6644です。Listen again and repeat. Watashi no denwa bango wa 090 no 0877 no 6644 desu. w 
私の電話番号は090の0877の6644です。Let's try another. Imagine you're Ben Lee and your phone number is 080の0891の2345 Ready? B さん、電話番号をお願いします。私の電話番号は080の0891の2345です。Listen again and repeat. 私の電話番号は080の0891の2345です。私の電話番号は080の0891の2345です。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Hana Hashimoto and your phone number is 090の0003の9004 Ready? 橋本さん、電話番号をお願いします。私の電話番号は090の0003の9004です。Listen again and repeat. 私の電話番号は090の0003の9004です。私の電話番号は090の0003の9004です。This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try anytime you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Now you know how to give your phone number in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can do course. Now you know how to give your phone number in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. With these can do videos, you'll see real life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Japanese. This video is a small portion of our can do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Minasan, konnichiwa, Kano Kana des. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to talk about your family. This is Ben Lee, and he's at a coffee shop with his classmate, Hana Hashimoto. Ben is showing some pictures to Hana. She points to one of them and asks, 
Is this your family? Ben Kun no Kazoku deska? Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? Ben Kun no Kazoku deska? Hi, Chichito Hahato, Imoto, Watashi des. Once more with the English translation. Ben Kun no Kazoku deska? Is this your family? Hi, Chichito Hahato, Imoto, Watashi des. Yes, this is my father, mother, younger sister, and me. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our Can Do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Hana asks, Is this your family? First is Ben. 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 This starts with Ben's name in Japanese. Ben. 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 After this is Kun. A suffix attached to a person's name. Kun. It is often used to address males with whom the speaker has a close relationship, who are younger than the speaker, or who are of lower social status than the speaker. Kun. There is no equivalent in English. Instead, the translation is contextual. In this case, it indicates a close relationship between the speaker, Hana, and Ben. Together it's Ben Kun. Ben. Ben Kun. Next is no the possessive marking particle no think of no as a way to indicate possession like the apostrophe s in ben's family the word it follows possesses the thing that comes after it in this sentence it marks ben kun ben as the possessor together ben kun no translates as ben's Ben kun no. After this is Kazoku. Family. Ka zo ku. Kazoku. Together, Ben kun no kazoku. Literally means Ben's family. Ben kun no kazoku. But it translates as your family. In Japanese, it's more common and polite to address a person by their name and polite suffix rather than directly with words like your or you. Next is this. In this case, it's like the is in is this your family. De -su des. Last is ka. The question marking particle. This turns the sentence into a question. Ka? Altogether, it's Ben kun no kazoku desu ka? This literally means Ben's family this is, but it translates as Is this your family? Ben kun no kazoku desu ka? Note that this is understood from the context of the conversation, as Hana is pointing at the picture when she asks the question. Ben kun no kazoku desu ka? Remember this question. You'll hear it again later. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Ben says, Yes, this is my father, mother, younger sister, and me. Hi, 
父と母と妹と私です。There are two parts to the response. The first part is はい。Meaning yes. は、い、はい。It answers Hana's yes or no question. Is this your family? Ben Kun no Kazok desu ka? In the second part, Ben lists the different members of his family as he points to each one. Chichi to, Haha to, Imoto to, Watashi desu. This is my father, mother, younger sister, and me. Chichi to, Haha to, Imoto to, Watashi desu. First is Chichi, meaning my father. Chi, Chi, Chichi. Next is the particle To, meaning and in this context. To, Ha Ha, my mother. Ha, Ha, Ha Ha. After this, To, and. と、妹、my younger sister、い、も、う、と、妹。Again、と、and、と、私、translates as me in this context。わ、た、し、私。Last is、です。In this case, it's like the is in This is my father. It's a linking verb. This. Altogether, Chichi to Haha to Imoto to Watashi des. My father and my mother and my younger sister and me. This is. But it translates as This is my father, mother, younger sister, and me. Chichi to Haha to Imoto to Watashi des. In this case, this is understood from context, as it refers to the group of family members in the photograph Ben and Hana are looking at. Notice this Japanese sentence doesn't include a specific word that means my, like in English. Instead, it is understood through context. Again. The pattern is My family member word to my family member word to my family member word to watashi desu. My family member word and my family member word and my family member word and me. Note the particle to follows each family member. To use this pattern, Simply replace my family member word with each of your family members. Imagine your family members are your father, your mother, your older brother, and you. Ani. Older brother. A. Ni. Ani. Say, this is my father, mother, older brother, and me. Ready? This is my father, mother, older brother, and me. When talking to someone outside your family about your own father, mother, or siblings, use the following words Chichi, father. Haha. Mother, Ani, older brother, Ane, older sister, Ane, Ototo, younger brother, Ototo, Imoto, younger sister. However, when referring to another person's family members, you will need to use a different set of words. Otosan, father, お父さん、お父さん。お母さん、mother。お母さん、お母さん。
お兄さん、オーダーブラザー。お兄さん、お兄さん。お姉さん、オーダーシスター。お姉さん、お姉さん。弟さん、ヤングブラザー。お父さん、弟さん。妹さん。Younger sister. 妹さん、妹さん。Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 父と母と妹と私です。父と母と妹と私です。父と母と兄と私です。父と母と兄と私です。父と母と姉と私です。父と母と姉と私です。父と母と姉と弟と私です。父と母と姉と弟と私です。父と母と私です。父と母と私です。Did you notice how I only named three family members? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. One, read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our can do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. My father, mother, and me. You can remove a family member plus to, to talk about a family of three. This sentence pattern is flexible. Did you notice how Hana names four family members in addition to herself? My father, mother, older sister, younger brother, and me. You can add family members plus to, to talk about a larger family. Let's review the key vocabulary. Ane. My older sister. Ane. Ane. 弟 My younger brother. 弟弟弟 Note, these words are part of the set of words that one only uses when speaking about one's own family members with others. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say yes? Hi. Hi. And how to say me? Watashi. Watashi. Do you remember how to say end? To. To. And the word for my younger sister. Imoto. Imoto. 
Do you remember the word for my mother? Haha. Haha. And the word for my father? Chichi. Chichi. Do you remember how Ben says, This is my father, mother, younger sister, and me? Do you remember how to say family? Kazoku. Kazoku. And how Hana addresses Ben? Ben kun. Ben kun. Do you remember how to say Ben's family? Ben kun no kazoku. Ben kun no kazoku. And do you remember how Hana asks, Is this your family? Ben kun no kazoku desu ka? Do you remember the word for my younger brother? Ototo. Ototo. And the word for my older sister? Ane. Ane. Do you remember the word for my older brother? Ani. Ani. Let's practice. Imagine you're Sasha, Ben's younger sister. Respond to your friend's question referring to the photo. Don't forget to include the word for yes at the beginning of your response. Ready? Sasha chan no kazoku desu ka? Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. Imagine you're Ben's college friend, Yukio Yamashita. You have a father, mother, and older sister. Ready? Yamashita kun no kazoku desu ka? Hai, chichi to haha to ane to watashi desu. Listen again and repeat. Hi, Chichi to Haha to Ane to Watashi desu. Hi, Chichi to Haha to Ane to Watashi desu. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ben's college classmate, Hana Hashimoto. You have a father, mother, Older sister and younger brother. Ready? Hashimoto san no kazoku desu ka? Hai, chichi to haha to ane to ototo to watashi desu. Listen again and repeat. Hai, chichi to Hi, 
父と母と姉と弟と私です。Did you notice how Sasha's friend refers to her in the question? Is this your family? Sasha chan no kazoku desu ka? Is this your family? She calls Sasha, Sasha chan. This starts with Sasha's name in Japanese, Sasha. 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 After this is chan. A suffix attached to a person's name. Cha, n, chan. Chan is often used to address females with whom the speaker has a close relationship, who are younger than the speaker, or who are of lower social status than the speaker. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. 皆さんこんにちは、カノカナです。Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to talk about your family from a parent's perspective. This is Karen Lee, and she's studying with her Japanese teacher, Tomoko Tanaka. The teacher notices a picture on Karen's computer and asks, Is this your family? Lee さんの家族ですか Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. リーさんの家族ですかはい、夫と息子と娘と私です。Once more with the English translation. リーさんの家族ですか Is this your family? はい、夫と息子と娘と私です。Yes, this is my husband, son, Daughter and me. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our Can Do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how the teacher asks, Is this your family? リーさんの家族ですか First is リーさん Miss Lee リーさん This starts with Karen's family name, Lee. In Japanese, リーリーリー After this is さん A polite suffix attached to a person's name. さん Some. This suffix can be used with any gender and translates as miss in Karen's case. Together it's Lee Sam. Miss Lee. Lee Sam. Next is the particle. No. The possessive marking particle. No. Think of No. As a way to indicate possession, like the apostrophe S in Karen's family. The word it follows possesses the thing that comes after it. In this sentence, it marks Lee san. Miss Lee as the possessor. Together, Lee san no. is Miss Lee's. Lee san no. After this is Kazoku. Family. Ka zo ku. Kazoku. Together, Lee san no kazoku. Literally means Miss Lee's family. Lee san no kazoku. But it translates as your family. In Japanese, it's more common and polite to address a person by their name and polite suffix rather than directly with words like you or your. Next is 
です。In this case, it's like the is in Is this your family? です。です。Last is the particle. か The question marking particle. This turns the sentence into a question. か Altogether, it's リーさんの家族ですか This literally means Miss Lee's family, this is. But it translates as Is this your family? リーさんの家族ですか Note that this is understood from the context of the conversation, as the teacher is pointing at the picture when she asks the question. リーさんの家族ですか Remember this question. You'll hear it again later. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Karen says, Yes, this is my husband, son, daughter, and me? Hi, Otto to Musco to Musme to Watashi des. There are two parts to the response. The first part is Hi, meaning yes. Ha, i, hi. It answers the teacher's yes or no question. Is this your family? Lee san no kazoku desu ka? In the second part, Karen lists the different members of her family while pointing at each family member. Otto to, musko to, musume to, watashi desu. This is my husband, son, daughter, and me. Otto to, musko to, musume to, watashi desu. First is Otto. Literally, husband, but translates as my husband. Otto. Otto. Note, the my is understood from context. Next is the particle to, meaning and. In this context, to, musko, son, musko, musko. After this, to, and, to, musume, daughter, musume, musume. Again, to, and, to. Translates as me in this context. Watashi. Watashi. Last is. Des. In this case, it's like the is in This is my husband. It's a linking verb. Des. Altogether, it's. Otto to musko to musume to watashi des. This literally means. Husband and son and daughter and me, this is. But it translates as This is my husband, son, daughter, and me. Note, this is understood from context and refers to the group of family members in the photograph Karen and Tomoko are looking at. Notice this Japanese sentence doesn't include a specific word that means my, like in English. Instead, it is understood through context. Again, とと息子と娘と私です。The pattern is My family member word と My family member word と My family member word と私です。My family member word and My family member word and My family member word and me. Note the particle to follows each family member. This is an important pattern for your task. To use this pattern, simply replace the family member placeholders with members of your family. Imagine your family members are your wife, your son, your daughter, and you. Suma. Wife. Suma. Suma. Say, this is my wife, son, daughter, and me. Ready?
妻と息子と娘と私です。My wife, son, daughter, and me. 妻と息子と娘と私です。When talking about your own husband or wife, use the words 夫 husband, and 妻 wife. However, when referring to another person's husband or wife, use the following words 旦那さん husband, 旦那さん奥さん wife, 奥さん In addition, When referring to someone else's son or daughter, Musco san, san, Musco san, Musume san, daughter, Musume san. Note the suffix san attached to each word. You should be aware of these terms referring to other people's family members, but you won't need them for this lesson. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Otto to Musco to Musume to Watashi des. Otto to Musco to Musume to Watashi des. Tsuma to Musco to Musume to Watashi des. 妻と息子と娘と私です。妻と娘と私です。妻と娘と私です。夫と,と息子と私です。夫と,と息子と私です。夫と息子二人と私です。夫と息子二人と私です。Did you notice how the last speaker indicates that she has two sons? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. One, read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our can do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. This is my husband, two sons, and me. Two sons. First is son. Next is meaning two people. Together, literally means son, two people, but it translates as two sons. Note the Japanese word for son doesn't change as most Japanese nouns do not have plural forms. Instead, when talking about the number of something, the noun is followed by a number and counter. In this case, to say two daughters, two daughters, you should be aware of this pattern, but you will not need it for this lesson. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me. Focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say me? Watashi. 
私 and how to say end と,と Do you remember the word for dota? 娘娘 And the word for son 息子息子 Do you remember how Karen says my husband? 夫夫 And how to say yes? はい、はい、Do you remember how Karen says, This is my husband, son, daughter, and me? おっとと、むすこと、むすめと、わたしです。おっとと、むすこと、むすめと、わたしです。Do you remember how to say family? 家族家族 And how the teacher addresses Karen? Hint, she uses her last name, Lee. Lee さん Lee さん Do you remember how the teacher says Miss Lee's family? リーさんの家族。リーさんの家族。Do you remember how the teacher asks, Is this your family? リーさんの家族ですかリーさんの家族ですか ?Do you remember the word for life? 妻妻。Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark's colleague, Yoshi Nakamura. You have a wife and a daughter. Respond to Mark's question referring to the photo. Don't forget to include the word for yes at the beginning of your response. Ready? Nakamura さんの家族ですか Listen again and repeat. Hi, Tsumato, Musumeto, Watashides. Hi, Tsumato, Musumeto, Watashides. Let's try another. Imagine you're Mark's boss. Noriko Nagaoka. You have a husband, a daughter, and a son. Ready? Nagaoka san no kazoku desu ka? Hai. Otto to musume to musuko to watashi desu. Listen again and repeat. Hai. 夫と娘と息子と私です。はい、夫と娘と息子と私です。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Mark's friend, Yoshimi Yamaguchi. You have a husband and a son. Ready? 山口さんの家族ですかはい、夫と息子と私です。Listen again and repeat. はい、夫と息子と私です。
はい夫と息子と私です This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can do course. Now you know how to talk about your family in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. 皆さんこんにちは、カノカナです。Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to greet someone at different times of the day. This is Tomoko Tanaka, the Lee family's Japanese teacher. Her schedule for the day is Mark Lee at 9 a.m., Karen Lee at 12 p.m., Ben Lee at 6 p.m. Listen to the greeting exchange between the three pairs. Pay attention to the time of day. Tanaka Sensei, Ohayo Gozaimas. Lee san, Ohayo Gozaimas. Konnichiwa. Lee san, Konnichiwa. Once more with the English translation. Tanaka Sensei, Ohayo Gozaimas. Good morning, Miss Tanaka. Lee san, Ohayo Gozaimas. Good morning, Mr. Lee. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Lee san, konnichiwa. Good afternoon, Miss Lee. Sensei, konbanwa. Good evening, teacher. Ben kun, konbanwa. Good evening, Ben. Let's take a closer look at each of these expressions. In the first conversation, do you remember how Mark says, Good morning, Miss Tanaka? Tanaka Sensei, Ohayo Gozaimas. First is Tanaka Sensei, Miss Tanaka. Tanaka Sensei. First, Mark addresses his teacher. Tanaka Sensei. This starts with the teacher's family name. Tanaka. 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 After this is. Sensei. Teacher. Sensei. 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 Note when. Sensei is used as a suffix. The meaning will depend on the context, as it can be attached to the names of teachers, doctors, lawyers, and politicians. In the case of Tanaka Sensei, it translates as Miss, since she's a private teacher and the situation is less formal. Together, it's Tanaka Sensei, Miss Tanaka. Tanaka Sensei. Next is Ohayo gozaimas. Meaning, good morning. Ohayo gozaimas. Ohayo gozaimas. There are two parts to this expression. Ohayo and gozaimas. First is Ohayo. It comes from the adjective 
早い。Meaning early. おはよう。Pronunciation note. Notice the prolonged pronunciation of the vowel at the end of おはよう。Listen again. おはよう。This is called the long vowel. Second is ございます。A polite form of the verb to be or to exist. Gozaimas. Together. o h a y o gozaimas. Literally means early it is, but it translates as good morning. o h a y o gozaimas. In Japanese, there are different levels of formality. This expression is formal. For informal situations, you can simply say the first part o h a y o Good morning. おはよう。All together. 田中先生、おはようございます。Literally, Miss Tanaka, good morning. But in more natural English, good morning, Miss Tanaka. 田中先生、おはようございます。Do you remember how the teacher says, Good morning, Mr. Lee? リーさん、おはようございます。First is、リーさん、Mr. Lee。リーさん。This starts with Mark's family name, Lee. In Japanese, リー、リー、リー。After this is、さん。A polite suffix attached to a person's name. さ、ん、さん。The suffix can be used with any gender. In Mark's case, it translates as Mr. Together, Lee さん Mr. Lee. Lee さん Next is, おはようございます Good morning. おはようございますおはようございます All together, it's, Lee さんおはようございます Good morning, Mr. Lee. リーさん、おはようございます。In the second conversation, which takes place at noon, do you remember how Karen says, Good afternoon? こんにちは。こんにちは。means, Good afternoon. こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。consists of two parts. First is こんにち a formal way of saying today. こんにち Second is the particle は the topic marking particle. は Think of it like as for in the expression as for today. Together こんにちは literally means as for today, but it translates as good afternoon or hello, depending on the context. こんにちは。Note the pronunciation of は here. It's pronounced は instead of は when used as a particle. Also note, when pronouncing this word, こんにち。Be sure to pronounce the ん sound. こんにち。Do you remember how Miss Tanaka says, Good afternoon, Miss Lee? リーさん、こんにちは。田中先生 calls Karen Lee。リーさん。This starts with Karen's family name, Lee。リー、リー、リー。After this is、さん。A polite suffix attached to a person's name。さん。The suffix can be used with any gender. In Karen's case, it translates as Miss. Together, リーさん。Miss Lee。リーさん。Next is。こんにちは。Good afternoon。こんにちは。All together it's。リーさん。こんにちは。Good afternoon, Miss Lee。リーさん、こんにちは。In the third conversation, which takes place in the evening at 6 p.m., do you remember how Ben says, Good evening, teacher? こんばんは。
When addressing his teacher, Ben simply uses 先生 without adding her name. People often address their teachers by the title 先生 without attaching it to a name when it's clear which teacher they're talking to. Next is the greeting こんばんは meaning good evening. こんばんは 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 consists of two parts. First is こんばん meaning this evening. こんばん Second is the particle わ the topic marking particle. わ Think of it like as for in the expression as for this evening. Together こんばんは literally means as for this evening, but it translates as good evening. Pronunciation note. When pronouncing this word, be sure to clearly enunciate the ん? sound in こんばんは Altogether, Ben says こんばんは Do you remember how the teacher says Good evening, Ben. Ben君こんばんは First is Ben君 Ben Ben君 This starts with Ben's name in Japanese. Ben 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 After this is Kun A suffix attached to a person's name. Ku Kun It is often used to address males with whom the speaker has a close relationship who are younger than the speaker, or who are of lower status than the speaker. In this case, the teacher, the speaker, is of higher social status than Ben, the student. There is no equivalent in English. Instead, the translation is contextual. In this case, there is no corresponding English translation, and ben -kun. simply translates as Ben. Together, it's ben -kun. Konbanwa. Good evening, Ben. Ben-kun,こんばんは. is the most general greeting and the closest to hello in English. It can be used in the morning or even at night. When including a person's name in a greeting, it's more common to say the person's name before the greeting. In addition, using a person's name in a greeting may come across as more formal. In informal situations, it's not so common to say someone's name when greeting them. Let's review the greetings. Listen and repeat or speak along with me. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Konbanwa. こんばんは Did you notice how I use the shortened version of Good Morning? Ohayo. In informal situations, Ohayo gozaimasu is often shortened to Ohayo. Ohayo. Please note that this abbreviated form should be avoided when speaking with people whom you don't know very well, who are older than you, or who may be regarded as your superior. You should be aware of this shortened greeting but you don't need it for this lesson. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember the polite way to say, good morning? おはようございます。おはようございます。Do you remember how to say good afternoon?
こんにちは。こんにちは。Do you remember how to say good evening? こんばんは。こんばんは。Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben and you're in morning class. Respond by saying, Miss Tanaka, good morning. Ready? Ben Kun, o h a y o g o z a i m a s Tanaka Sensei, o h a y o g o z a i m a s Listen again and repeat. 田中先生、おはようございます。田中先生、おはようございます。Let's try another. Imagine you're Mark and you're in afternoon class. Respond by saying, Hello. Ready? こんにちは。こんにちは。Listen again and repeat. こんにちは。こんにちは。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Karen and you meet your neighbor. Respond by saying good evening. Ready? こんばんは。こんばんは。Listen again and repeat. こんばんは。こんばんは。This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can do course. Now you know how to use basic greetings in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you will learn how to use parting greetings. This is Karen Lee, and she's talking with her former homestay mother, Miki Mori. As Karen says goodbye, her children join her in saying goodnight. Focus on the way each person says goodbye. Ja, mata. Oyasmi nasai. Oyasmi nasai. Mata ne, oyasmi. Once more with the English translation. じゃあまた。See you. おやすみなさい。Good night. おやすみなさい。Good night. またね、おやすみ。See you later. Good night. Let's take a closer look at each of these expressions. First, do you remember how Karen says, see you? Ja, mata. This starts with the interjection, ja, translating as, well, in this context. 
じゃあじゃあ It's similar to the word well in English when it's used to express a pause in conversation or thought. The second part is また Again また,また Altogether じゃあまた literally means well again. But it translates as see you. じゃあまた This phrase is an abbreviated form of じゃあまた会いましょう。Well, let's meet again. じゃあまた会いましょう。会いましょう。Let's meet. 会いましょう。会いましょう。Is omitted from this expression, but it's understood. 会いましょう。Is from the verb 会う。Meaning to meet. The expression じゃあまた is fairly informal, which indicates a very close relationship between Karen and her host mother. Otherwise, Karen would use a more formal alternative. After this, do you remember how Sasha says good night? おやすみなさい。おやすみなさい。Is a set phrase meaning good night. おやすみなさい。The first part is お an honorific prefix. お It's used to show politeness. Next is やすみ rest. やすみやすみ It's from the verb やすむ Meaning to rest. Yasumu. The last part is Nasai. Meaning please do. Na sa i. Nasai. Together. Yasumi nasai. Is a command meaning take a rest. Yasumi nasai. Altogether. O yasumi nasai. Literally means. Please have a good rest. But it translates as good night. おやすみなさい。Both Sasha and Ben use this polite expression when saying good night to Mikimori. Note, there is an informal form of おやすみなさい。おやすみ。Good night. おやすみ。Mikimori uses this to say goodbye to everyone. おやすみ。She's the oldest person in the conversation, so she has a lot of freedom to use informal language. Do you remember how Mikimori says, See you later, good night? またね、おやすみ。First is, またね。See you later. またね、またね。There are two parts to this expression. First is また meaning again. また Next is ね a sentence ending particle used to seek confirmation about something or build a consensus. Here it means something like right? ね Together またね。Means something like, again, right? But it translates as, see you later. またね。またね。Is an abbreviated form of, また会いましょうね。Let's meet again, right? また会いましょうね。Next is, おやすみ。Good night. おやすみ。The informal form of, おやすみなさい。Good night. おやすみなさい。All together. またね、おやすみ。See you later. Good night. またね、おやすみ。You may be familiar with the expression さようなら。Farewell. さようなら。
It's fairly common to hear it in foreign movies or dramas that involve Japan or Japanese people. Despite this, it's not so frequently used in daily life. There is another parting expression you may have come in contact with. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Borrowed from the English language, it's an informal expression which is basically used between kids and young people or when you talk to kids. The parting expression you choose will depend on many factors, such as your relationship with the person or people you're talking with. Let's look at the parting greetings once more. Listen and repeat or speak along with me. Ja mata. Ja mata. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Mata ne. Mata ne. Oyasumi. Oyasumi. Mata ne, oyasumi. Mata ne, oyasumi. Ja ne. Ja ne. Did you notice the last parting greeting I used? Ja ne. Ja ne. See you. Ja ne. The expression ja ne. is commonly used in informal situations. It's an abbreviated form of ja, mata ne. where the mata. is omitted. Ja ne. Pronunciation note. Notice the extended pronunciation of the vowel at the end of ja. Listen again. Ja. This is a long vowel. You should be aware of this expression, but for this lesson, you'll use Ja, mata. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how Karen says, See you? Ja mata. Ja mata. When using polite Japanese, do you remember how to say good night? Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. And the informal way to say good night. Oyasumi. Oyasumi. Do you remember how Miki Mori says, See you later? Mata ne. Mata ne. Do you remember how Miki Mori says, See you later? Good night. Mata ne. Oyasumi. Mata ne. Oyasumi. Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark Lee and you're talking with Miki Mori. Respond by saying good night using polite Japanese. Ready? Mata ne, oyasumi. Oyasumi nasai. Listen again and repeat. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Let's try another. Imagine you're Sasha and you're finishing class. Respond to your friend by saying, See you later. Ready? Ja, mata. Mata ne. Listen again and repeat. Mata ne.
またね。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ben, and you're talking with your friend Hana. Respond by saying good night using informal Japanese. Ready? おやすみ。おやすみ。Listen again and repeat. おやすみ。おやすみ。This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can do course. Now you know how to use basic parting greetings in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to use essential social expressions such as thank you. This is Ben Lee, and he's on the train. A fellow passenger drops his wallet as he exits the train. Ben picks up the wallet. And chases after the man. He calls to the man by saying, Excuse me. すみません。Listen to the following three short dialogues between Ben and the man. すみません。はい。Ben hands the man the wallet. ありがとうございます。どういたしまして。Ben turns to board the train, but the door is shut. すみません。大丈夫です。Once more with the English translation. すみません。Excuse me. はい。Yes. Ben hands the man the wallet. ありがとうございます。Thank you. どういたしまして。You're welcome. Ben turns to ride the train, but the door's shut. The man apologizes. すみません。I'm sorry. 大丈夫です。It's alright. Let's take a closer look at these three conversations. First, do you remember how Ben Lee says, Excuse me? すみません。In this context, すみません。is used to get someone's attention and translates as, Excuse me. すみません。すみません。This expression can also be a mild apology and even a very polite thank you. Its most fundamental and perhaps most frequent use, though, is when you want to get someone's attention. In this case, Ben wants to get the attention of the person he is chasing after. Remember this expression. You'll use it later in the lesson. Do you remember how the passenger acknowledges Ben by saying, Yes? はい。はい。Yes. はい。はい。This expression is often used in response to すみません
The second part of the conversation takes place after Ben returns the passenger's wallet. Do you remember how the passenger politely says, Thank you. Thank you. This expression has two parts. First, which means something like gratitude. Originally comes from the phrase which literally means hard to exist or rarely exists. It came to mean gratitude because you should appreciate something that rarely happens to you. The second part is gozaimasu. A polite way to say I have or there exists. Gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Together, Arigatou gozaimasu. means something like gratitude there exists, but translates as Thank you. In more informal situations, you can drop the and just say Thank you. Do you remember how Ben says, You're welcome? どういたしまして? どういたしまして? You're welcome. どういたしまして? どういたしまして? Means something like, What did I do for you? And it implies that the speaker didn't do anything, so there's no need for gratitude. First is, どう? Meaning how or what. どう? Second is, いたしまして? meaning something like, I did, in the context. いたしまして? いたしまして? is a form of the humble verb, いたす? meaning to do. いたす? Together, どういたしまして? you're welcome. どういたしまして? This is the appropriate response to ありがとうございます. After the train door is shut and Ben misses his train, do you remember how the passenger apologizes to Ben by saying, I'm sorry? すみません. In this context, すみません. means, I'm sorry. すみません. The passenger feels responsible for Ben missing his train and is apologizing. So here, すみません means I'm sorry, while in the first dialogue, すみません means excuse me, as Ben is trying to get the passenger's attention. The meaning of すみません depends on the context. Do you remember how Ben replies, It's all right. The first part is All right. Next is this. In this case, it's like the am in I am. This. This. Together. This. This literally means, I am all right, but it translates as, it's all right. This is a common phrase used to express that things are all right, referring to situations and physical well-being. Do you remember how Ben says, you're welcome? どういたしまして? This expression is often preceded by いいえ, meaning no. いいえ, いいえ. 
together, the full expression is いいえ、どういたしまして。No, what did I do for you? But translates as You're welcome. いいえ、どういたしまして。Sometimes you might hear only the first part of this expression. いいえ、without どういたしまして。In this case, the どういたしまして is inferred from context, so it is omitted. Let's look at the expressions once more. Listen and repeat or speak along. Pay attention to the body language. すみませんすみませんはいはいありがとうございますありがとうございますどういたしましてどういたしまして。すみません。すみません。大丈夫です。大丈夫です。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then, repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say, excuse me? すみませんすみません And how to say, yes? はい。はい。When using polite Japanese, do you remember how to say thank you? ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。And how to say you're welcome? どういたしましてどういたしまして Do you remember how to say I'm sorry? すみませんすみません And how to say It's alright Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee and you receive a popular Japanese candy from your Japanese teacher. Say thank you. Ready? どういたしまして。Listen again and repeat. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Let's try another. Imagine you are Mark Lee and a passenger bumps into you. Respond by saying, It's all right. Ready? すみませんだいじょうぶです。Listen again and repeat. だいじょうぶです。だいじょうぶです。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Mark Lee and you see a man drop his wallet. Get his attention. Ready? すみませんはい
Listen again and repeat. すみません。すみません。This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can do course. Now you know how to use essential social expressions in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. With these can do videos, you'll see real life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Japanese. This video is a small portion of our can do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to ask about someone's well being. This is Mark Lee, and he's in the office break room. He meets Yoshi Nakamura, a colleague, and asks, How are you? Genki desu ka? Listen to the conversation and focus on the question. Ready? Genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Once more with the English translation. Genki desu ka? How are you? Hai, genki desu. Yes, I'm well. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our can do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. First, do you remember how Mark asks, How are you? Genki desu ka? First is, Genki. Well, in this context. Genki. Genki. After this is. This. In this case, it's like the R in Are you? Desu. Des. Last is. Ka. The question marking particle. It turns the sentence into a question. Ka. Altogether, it's. Genki desu ka? This literally means, well, are you? But it translates as, how are you? Genki desu ka? The word for you is understood from context, as this is a two person conversation. In Japanese, it's more common to avoid the word for you when it's clear from context, as it sounds too direct. Genki desu ka? Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Yoshi says, Yes, I'm well? Hai, genki desu. Yes, I'm well. Hai, genki desu. First is, Hai. Yes. Hai. Hai. 
This answers Mark's yes or no question. Are you well? Genki desu ka? The second part of the response should be familiar based on the question. Genki desu. I'm well. Genki desu. First is. Genki. Well. Genki. After this is. Des. In this case, it's like the am in I am. Des. Note, I is understood from context, as the speaker is answering the question and therefore omitted. Altogether, it's. Hai, genki desu. Yes, I'm well. Hai, genki desu. To answer the question about well being. Genki desu ka? You just learned the polite expression. Genki desu ka? How are you? In very casual situations, such as with a close friend or family, you can use the informal way to ask, How are you? Genki? Notice the rising intonation. Genki? The meaning is the same as the polite version. Genki desu ka? How are you? However, desu ka? is omitted. As this form is appropriate for very casual situations, if you are unsure, it's best to use the polite form. Genki desu ka? Especially when starting out in Japanese. To respond in the informal way of asking, How are you? Genki? You can simply say, Genki. I'm well. Genki. Note the difference in intonation from the question. So, an informal conversation among friends could sound like this Genki? You good? Genki. I'm good. Note, Japanese native speakers are more likely to ask about each other's well being when they haven't seen each other for a while. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Lee-san, genki desu ka? Ma ma desu. Lee-san, genki desu ka? Ma ma desu. Genki? Genki. Genki? Genki. Genki desu ka? Genki desu. Lee-san wa? Genki desu ka? Genki desu. Lee-san wa? Did you notice how I added Lee-san wa? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our can do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Genki desu. Lee san wa? I'm fine. And you? Lee san wa? And you? Lee san wa? First is Mark's family name in Japanese. Lee. 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 After this is Sam. A polite suffix attached to a person's name. San. San. It can be used with any gender. In Mark's case, it translates as Mr. Together, 
リーさん。Mr. Lee。リーさん。Note the suffix さん can be used with any gender. So in the case of Karen Lee, リーさん translates as Miss Lee. Remember this point. You'll need it later. Finally, は the topic marking particle. は Think of it like as for in the expression as for you. Together it's リーさんは This literally means as for Mr. Lee, but it translates as and you. リーさんは Notice Mr. Lee's name is used instead of the word you. In Japanese, it's more common to address a person by their name and polite suffix than directly with you. The pattern is name. Wa. Note that this is a shortened form of the sentence. Lee さんは元気ですか Which literally means, as for Mr. Lee, well are you? But it translates as, How are you, Mr. Lee? In the shortened form, 元気ですか is omitted as it can be understood from context. Let's review the key vocabulary. まあまあ So so. まあまあまあまあ Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say, well? Genki. Genki. And the question marking particle? Ka. Ka. Do you remember how Mark asks, How are you? Genki desu ka? Genki desu ka? Do you remember how to say yes? Hai. Hai. And how Yoshi Nakamura says, Yes, I'm well. Hai, genki desu. Hai, genki desu. Do you remember how to say so so? Ma ma. Ma ma. And how to say Mark's family name, Lee, in Japanese? Lee. Lee. Do you remember how to say Mr. Lee? Lee san. Lee san. Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark's co worker, Yoshi Nakamura. Ask Mark, how are you? using polite Japanese. Ready? Genki desu ka? Ma ma desu. Listen to the question again and repeat. Genki desu ka? Genki desu ka? Let's try another. Imagine you're Karen's Japanese teacher, Tomoko Tanaka. Ask Karen. How are you, Miss Lee? Ready? Lee san, genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Listen to the question again and repeat. Lee san, genki desu ka?
リーさん元気ですか Let's try one more. Imagine you're Sakura Suzuki, Sasha's classmate. Ask Sasha, how are you? Using informal Japanese. Ready? Genki? Genki. Listen to the question again and repeat. Genki? Genki? In English, the question, How are you? is used every day to ask about someone's well being. In Japanese, however, the question, Genki desu ka? Are you well? tends to be used when people have not met for some time. The nuance is, How are you since the last time we met? There is no set time frame for how much time needs to pass, but a good rule of thumb is at least a few days. You will also encounter a more polite version of Genki desu ka? which is O genki desu ka? Simply attach the polite prefix O to Genki desu ka? This tends to be used when a significant amount of time has passed since the last encounter or with people of higher social status. A correct and common response to O genki desu ka? Is Genki desu. A common mistake by Japanese learners is to use the prefix O in the response. Avoid this common mistake. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can do course. Now you know how to talk about well being in Japanese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.